talking about learning how to draw now looking at drawing which is a primary skill that every artist tries to master before diving deep into the creative world some artists make drawing their only form of creativity being experts of pencil techniques and challenging the reality of its real objects well, drawing may be an intuitive skill when needed, but also an incredibly challenging skill to master. Now, sand drawing is a knee Vanuatu artistic and ritual tradition and practice recognized by UNESCO as a masterpiece of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity. Now, our guest today is a Cameroonian sun artist, uh, Kobe Williams, who has over time caught the attention of many with his talents. Let's welcome Kobe to the show this morning. Good morning, Kobe Williams, and welcome to Breakfast Central. Hello, Kobe. Good morning, and uh, thank you very much for, for welcoming me in, our, in this our morning program. All right, Kobe, good to have you. Sand drawing, uh, which uh, clearly I don't think I've practiced in my youth, uh, <laughs> is not something that is seen, you know, every day. You know, how did you yeah. come about, you know, this art and this particular form of expression and drawing? Uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't an easy journey to uh, it wasn't easy at all. I started using uh, sand uh, last year in 2020. Uh, I discovered it and uh, there was a tragedy that happened here with the Anglophone crisis that that the world knows um, a good number of kids were burned alive and uh, the event uh, went viral and it touched me so much that I, I went on the ground, I started doing, uh, I started using sand, I wanted to represent the, the kids. So that's how um, sand drawing was born. Then I started um, perfecting the art, started working on the art time upon time and just to see the results um, the world knows today. All right, uh, Kobe, we do have a couple of, you know, images, videos of some of your work. So let's check them out right here on Breakfast Central. Wow. Wow. Kobe, that, that's quite laudable, what, what I'm seeing you do mm. on San. It makes me wonder. Incredible. I mean, uh, wow. I'm speechless. Now, let's talk about the sand that you use, the type of sand. Is there a specific type of sand that works better with this kind of art? Or do you ju can you just randomly work with any kind of sand? I mean, I know there's clay sand, loamy sand, sandy soil. <laughs> I'm yeah. just wondering. Uh, yeah. Well, it depends on the... On the on the surface or the in the background you're working on. If the background is dark, you need to use a uh, light, uh, light sun like white or or any sun that's light. But if the background is um uh, is uh, is shiny, is um or the background is white, you need to use dark sun like brown and so on. So here the background is uh is dark, so I had to use white sun. How so, challenging has it been? Uh, has it been for you in this particular field? Because this is a career path that you have chosen, mm. and um, quite a number oh. of people may not even appreciate the kind of work that you're doing. But so, how challenging has it been for you? Oh, well, it's, um, on the on the media side or the entertainment side, uh, it's quite uh, successful because people love things that are unique and special. So, in the, on the entertainment field, I. I've gained much. Um, I've become more more famous from time to time, but now financially it's not that easy because I'm still working on research on how to conserve. I know there are ways to conserve a sand, but I'm looking for something unique to conserve the sand. Uh, the, the sand runs I'm doing. So financially it's quite uh, challenging, but I have other. I've varied my my resources in art because I am also a specialist in, in chalk drawings. 
Oh. So I, I use a job to do to do art and so on, and I found a way with my research on how to keep and conserve the sand. So that is what makes that that's what I'm using right now to to make a living. So oh. I I can say I sell sand, I sell chalk. So <laughs> I don't know if you 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 so see, you were able to get some images I did with, with chalk, mm -hmm. but. We are seeing, you know, quite remarkable work right being done before uh -huh. before us yeah, uh, here. So, well, Kobe, you talked about, you know, trying to keep the sand, you know, on the surface, which is maintaining the work, the durability of a sand job uh, being done. But you also talked uh -huh. about working uh, with Chuck. I've seen, you know, what we're seeing here, I've seen Maradona, you know, Lionel Messi, uh, uh, Ronaldo, even behind you right <laughs> now. I wonder if that's Rio Ferdinand uh, behind you, because you, you seem like... Uh, quite a football person. Is that real Ferdinand I'm seeing that behind you? Uh, or someone else? <laughs> are you, are you, are, I didn't get you well. The is that real Ferdinand in, in terms of a, a, a painting? I'm seeing a couple of paintings behind you. Is that real Ferdinand oh, behind wow. you? Oh, wow. So I'll be very, I'll be glad if I like Ronaldo or uh, Sadio Mani would like or tweet something about my art. I mean, uh, that would be that would be the greatest day of my life. I mean, <laughs> oh. All right, Kobe, I would like to ask you one last question. I mean, what part of Cameroon are you from? Uh-huh. What tribe of Cameroon are you from? Are you Bakuri? Are you from Boya? What's that, what's that from Cameroon you come from, Sui? I'll be Bakosi from Southwest. Eh, hey, hey, Bakosi, no? Oh, okay, that's another far from Bakuri. Now you make the ask. <laughs> yeah, we are, uh, we are cousins with Bakuri. Yes. All, All right. right. Yeah. All right, Kobe, before we let you go, uh, who's your, you know, Biggest inspiration. What really inspires you, you know, in your art? Oh, uh, events. I'm very much at, uh, attracted to events. That's why um, I always do things that's related to any hot topic in the world. I try to be. Um, I try always to be on the hot zone, concerning oh. um, wow. my art. Okay. That's what inspire me, inspires me because I love history. I love. To, 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 to tell a story mm. in relation to the arts I do. And this caused me to be very, very creative because sometimes I even use water to, to do arts. I, I use so, so, so many tools in order to, to, to explain my own way ongoing events. All right, uh, Kobe. Uh, I, we saw, also saw one of uh, TV Joshua, the uh, late Nigerian pastor who just recently passed awesome. on and you've done a, quite a good uh, tribute to him. You might yeah. want to help Nigerians um, out, you know, and do something uh, about uh, Twitter. He's a great man. <laughs> how can I say? I, there's no word to, to express how great he was. Because when we were kids, um, we uh, I, I used to watch his video with, with the family. Mm. We used to, to say on Sunday, on Sundays and watch um, uh, his broadcast on TV every Sunday with the family. And okay. growing up, uh, I keep on watching. I've never met him. I keep on watching, watching his videos, his broadcasts on TV. But personally, I was shocked that um, some people um, did not like him or reacted negatively to, to, to his yeah. death. I, I mean, even if he was a bad person, at least when somebody dies, in his memory, at least you need to celebrate him. All right. And he was he was oh, a good right. man. He needs to be celebrated. All, All right. right. And you've done that quite, quite well. well. Thank yeah, you very much. Uh, uh, sand artist Kobe Williams, all the way from Cameroon. You can do Nigerians a favor, do something on Twitter on sand, or perhaps <laughs> something about uh, Cameroon and Nigeria, Super Eagles and Double Table Lions. Well, thank you very much for coming on Breakfast Central. We'd like to see I'll more of that. your work. Bye bye.